What have we here? Mining operation a reality. The company says North Carolina has approved its mining permit, but the biggest hurdle to get the project over the finish line could still be on the horizon. Now, people living here in Cherryville have been fighting against plans for a lithium mine for years. The company's CEO, Keith Phillips, released a statement yesterday saying it plans to develop Carolina Lithium as one of the lowest cost, most sustainable lithium hydroxide operations in the world and as a critical part of the American electric vehicle supply chain. I was a little shocked to see 11 and a half years. I'd always heard it was going to be like 15 to 25. That's a little, that's even more concerning. It's only going to be 11 years uh, to disrupt all these people in their their homes and their property and their water uh, over an 11-year project. If that area has been inundated, is in a disaster zone, then the government can come in and do eminent domain and they can pay you what it was worth five years ago rather than what it's worth right now. I'm sure this is just another coincidence, but do you know who owns the most shares in that lithium mine? BlackRock and Vanguard. There's no, uh, no there's no military, there's no, no one's doing nothing. I just, it, it blows my mind. And they're not even allowing people to see what's really going on. The Federal um, Emergency Management Association, better known as FEMA, is now arresting volunteers um, if they don't leave the Tennessee area or the North Carolina area. Anybody coming up there with heavy equipment to help, anybody coming up there to try to get food and other resources to the victims of this catastrophe is getting turned away with a full load, told that they don't need their help, that, that, that they've got it covered. We are struggling. The government is not here. Like, people are dying. People are still missing. We're, people are still stranded. Um, we have no food. We have no water. I mean, we have no electricity. Uh, they're not here. I saw two Air Force Blackhawks, and there was two teams of pararescue men. These guys are all paramedics and the rescue specialists. Like, that's literally what they do. So I went up to them, I was like, hey guys, this is who I am. And I started telling them, this is how you need to be looking for these people out there, looking for SOS, carved in the mud, stuff like that. And he goes, yeah, we wanna go do that, but we, we are stuck here. We cannot go fly. We are waiting on Title 10 orders. Like we cannot do nothing. And that's the story I'm getting from everybody in the military. But these guys actually flew from Tucson, Arizona to Moody, took their helicopters because the Moody guys couldn't go up because the base is on lockdown for whatever reason. And then now they're sitting in North Carolina and they can't do nothing. They're just sitting there literally on the taxiway, on the on the parking ramp, doing nothing.